Welcome to Easy in Trade daily video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. At present, the Australian dollar has managed to break above the 64.5 level, but little momentum has been seen. Although the technicals are somewhat positive, and now with the ADX supporting a weak bull trend, we'd see an extension on towards 64.80 to around 65.30.35. All eyes turn to the US Federal Reserve rate decision, with a widely expected view that the Fed will keep rates on hold. Along with that, markets will also be looking to the Bank of England's rate decision on Thursday, and also the Bank of Japan on Friday. Looking at the Australian dollar though, the upside test could come to a little bit of difficulty towards that 65.30 area and therefore we should not abandon this bottom side range around 63.5 as a retest could be seen if we see a top side rejection. The euro somewhat sideways as the dollar index which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies ended flat in New York this morning at 104.70. In light of the, this current pattern, though, the market is attempting to break higher, but still has a key level to break above, which is around 107.25 to 35. Technicals aren't that bullish, so therefore we could see one more test in the dollar and maybe reclaiming the 105. But much volatility is seen as we get closer to the Fed rate decision. Any pullback looks towards a base around 105. The dollar yen, while the market still appears capped to that 148 area, with divergence slightly to the bearish case with the RSI, could eventually see the market snap to the downside and look towards 146 or even 145. However, above 148.30 may actually see some concern if we see the Bank of Japan intervene, as previously seen back here in April, the market plummeted, and therefore there is some risk that dollar yen may actually fall back onto the bearish path and eventually see that down move towards 145. As I mentioned, the Bank of England rate decision, much volatility is expected as a 25 base point rate hike is seen, which could see a little bit more movement as we've lacked in the last two days. Along with that, the statement from the Bank of England is important in case we see a little bit more to the hawkish side and therefore could see a recovery away from this bottom side of the range around 123 and look up towards the region of around 125. With some safe haven demand returning earlier in the week we're finding a bit of supply coming back into the market and a weaker price action which could put some threat to the downside and look back towards the low side of 1920 or lower towards the 1,900 region. I feel lack of momentum from the MACD could also put further pressure. So I'm holding closely to a possible bear case for gold and therefore see the movement down. Wrapping up with all, the topside challenge ran into quite a lot of supply. And from a gravestone doji posted, we are pressuring this trend around the low side of 89. If we see a further break to the downside, that could put the market back on track towards $86 a barrel, with a base seen around 84. I feel there is a bit of profit taking emerging, so that would also give additional weakness. Let's see if this pattern can continue to the bear case. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you very much for joining me, and as always, look out the intro report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.